There's something profound in the readings this week. A great theological truth, but one that each and every one of us are able to grasp. And this truth will not go over our heads. Rather, this truth, like I mentioned, is accessible to each and every one of us. And this truth is this. God wants us to be close to Him. It's not that the problem at first is you go, duh, Father, I own this sense I've been alive. However, in the readings, this is something new. God wants us to be close to Him. He doesn't want to lord it over us. He wants us to approach Him with confidence? Our letter to the Hebrews today, chapter 4, verse 16. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and find grace for timely help. I like a different interpretation in other Bibles. It says this. So let us draw near confidently to the throne of grace. Let us draw near to God. And we look at our gospel as well. And here we have James and John saying, can I sit at your right? Can I sit at your left? And Jesus saying, this is not for me to give, but those who are prepared and chosen for it. And what happens? The fellow disciples become indignant at James and John. We've heard this word indignant before, haven't we? A couple weeks ago, Jesus became indignant. Now what does this mean? They became justifiably angry, and rightly so. Don't ask this question to Jesus. What are you doing? And yet Jesus summons the apostles together, and he says what? For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Right before this, he talks about the Gentile leaders who lord it over them, who let their authority be known, saying, look how great I am, and you better not approach me, because I know more than you do. Even today, we have this in our society. You probably couldn't walk up to the President of the United States without security. You can't walk up to the Pope without security, although Francis kind of shoes the security away anyways, right? But we know this. It almost seems like certain people are unaccessible that they are at a different level than we are. And yet Jesus says what? For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. And why? Because he loves us. Because he wants us. He wants you to be close to him. To draw near to him to know him. And this, my brothers and sisters, is amazing. And it's beautiful. God wants us to be close to him. He desires it in his inmost being. Of course, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, hearing about the high priest of Jesus, what? For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. Jesus is fully human. Yes, fully divine, but fully human as well. He knows what it's like to be tested. A different interpretation will say this. He knows what it's like to be tempted. He too has gone through temptations. He knows what it means to suffer as a human being or to be tempted by the evil one or whatever else it may be. And he what? He sympathizes with us. He doesn't say, get over it, tough it out. No. He says what? I love you. And I'm here to help. I know how hard it can be. And he says, come to me. 
draw near to me, to this throne of grace, with mercy, to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. Did you catch that last part? God wants to help us as well. Draw near to him. I love this word, draw near, because we can imagine God. And yes, he is above us. We know this, right? But he is what? He is saying, come to me. Come to me. And I will help you. Of course, we have free will. We get to choose. But we know in our inmost being, in our heart, in our soul, in our mind, that God is the only thing that will bring us fulfillment. Our heart, our soul, our whole being, we're created to love. Most especially, created to love God. And so we're always going to be longing for him. Our heart is set a fire, a flame for him. But will we let our heart and our soul and our whole being come close to him? He's there to help. He's opened up the doorways. He's opened up the gates of heaven to give his life as a ransom for many. And how did he do this? Well, great examples, but most especially, the greatest example, right here. This is how much he loves you. This is how much he loves us. He's saying, come to me. Draw near to me. And then you will have fulfillment. Our brothers and sisters, the message is very clear today. We have a God who wants you. Yes, in all of your iniquities, in all of your downfalls, all of your imperfections, he sees that. He knows that. And yet he says what? Come to me. Draw near to me. I desire to love you. I desire to give you grace. Draw near to me confidently to the throne of grace.